Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. First, last Friday, the FAA's remote ID requirements went into effect for drone manufacturers. Now, what's cool is that when we look at the FAA's Declaration of Compliance webpage, we can see that a number of specific drone models have already been approved, including popular models from DJI, like the Mini 3 Pro, Air 2S, the new Avada. What we don't see are models from companies like Autel, Skydio, Freefly, but I imagine we'll continue to see this list expanded over the coming weeks and months. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out is the addition this week of the Mavic 3 Enterprise and Mavic 3 Thermal, uh, neither of which have been officially announced by DJI, but uh, looks like both of those drones are coming soon. So that's exciting. We will continue to monitor and report on remote ID. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit us up in the comments. Next up, I wanna talk about a different kind of FAA compliance for drone manufacturers, and this is the FAA type certification. So instead of the pilot getting certified or the operation getting special approval through a waiver, uh, this is when the drone itself is getting certified. And the use case here uh, is drone delivery. So a company called Matternet recently announced that it received a first ever type certificate for its M2 delivery drone. So because this M2 delivery drone has been comprehensively vetted and kind of pre-approved through the FAA's process, that'll really help them to flourish when it comes to scale scaling out drone delivery operations here in the U.S. Uh, Matternet has a real competitive advantage here. So just another exciting milestone regarding drone delivery. Uh, we're starting to see some real progress being made, and I'm excited about the months to come. Congrats to Matternet for pushing this all forward. Okay, lastly, we have a unique FPV or first-person view video to share of a junkyard. Uh, drone pilot Russell Spurlock takes us on a quick and dynamic tour of a massive graveyard for cars, uh, giving us a sweeping overview of just how many old cars you can find at a place like this. Spurlock was actually shooting aerial B-roll for the TV show Top Gear when he got this footage for an episode called Junkers. Uh, cool fact, he also wrote and performed the music featured in the video. Uh, follow the link uh, to learn more about the work he did as a drone pilot on that episode. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to continue to stay up to date on the latest drone industry news. Uh, remember, as always, to check the links below uh, to read more information about any of these stories. Uh, thanks uh, if you're still watching out there. And to all of you drone pilots, uh, blue skies and safe flying.